you have been in the writer's room since the very beginning for this. Mm -hmm. You're passionate about it. And it was an all-female writer's room. That's exciting. Mm -hmm. It was. It was exciting and it was a deliberate choice. You know, Lulu and I, we read a lot of people, mm -hmm. but it, the, ultimately we knew the voices that we wanted to have in the writer's room. And I think also when you're putting together a writer's room, it's just as important to cast it the same way that you cast it with an act, actors. You know, if you, you, can either, you could easily get it wrong and you can also get it right. So very deliberate. They got it right. Great room. <laughs> And also, interesting fact, half of it was on Zoom, you guys. We were a COVID oh, room. COVID time. So we did 20 weeks in, in the flesh mm. and then 20 weeks not in the flesh. So it was, yeah, it, it was, it was a, it's, a, it's of its time. You know? Nicole, uh, with your company Blossom Films, you executive produced this as well as, as star in it. So you're involved at those early stages too. Were you excited to have an all-female writer's room? I know you're, you're passionate about sharing the work of, of female directors and female storytellers, and this seems like another one of those great opportunities. Yeah, and also just great storytelling, and this is very much centred on three women. And um, and Lulu came on board. Lulu Wong, she directed The Farewell. I don't know if anyone here saw that, but it's a wonderful film. Yeah. yeah. And I saw that and I went, this is, this is the person that should be telling this story because I, she'll tell it from, um, a, I suppose, the viewpoint of being Chinese-American. And also she had an incredible insight into the humour as well as the grief. And I think that female, not female, she was just the right person for the job and for this story. And then she put together the people. Alice and I had been working on it without a director and suddenly um, we, we had Lulu as our fierce and <laughs> fierce and wild and crazy leader and she also is so tenacious and I think you feel that spirit in the show because we did it was we got hit with COVID um halfway through we still went to Hong Kong during COVID um and we were able to make you see um this was this is filmed in Hong Kong and it's beautiful because of that. You, yeah, you not only see it, you feel it. You feel yeah, the steam, so. you feel the rain, mm -hmm. you feel that. There was it's a lot of rain. <laughs> we got very good at being sweaty together. Did you? <laughs> yeah. but, but that's so much a part of, of, that, of that place and a part of the story. It becomes a, a character, an important character. Um, it's based on a best-selling book called The Expatriates and... Um, I know you, you're a prolific reader, Nicole. How did you come across this book? Why did you why did you want to get your hands on this one? Because we're always looking for material, and I always say this, so um, there's always room for, you know, more stories that haven't been told, but they have to be original. And this was original, and my sister was reading the book, and she said, you've got to read this. I think this would be something your company would love to do. Um, and I read it, and we optioned it. And and then we went to Jen Sulky uh, at Amazon, and she was like, she'd only just come into being the head of the head of the whole. I mean, the whole of Amazon in terms of film and television. And she said she bought it on the spot, which is an incredible thing for her to have done. It meant that she was, and she un, she was unwavering in her support of this project, which was tough and long and um, arduous yet still is a, because of that I think you you feel that in the in the piece and it's very unusual television this this isn't where you're going to go and see something that's got the cliffhangers at the end of every episode it's not written in that way it's really written in the way that Kislowski constructed say his tv the Decalogue series and um, it's it's far more cinematic but it's also storytelling that's told um, not from a linear perspective. You're seeing episode five tonight, which is very strange to show <laughs> the, the uh, an episode five is the first thing you see, but you're seeing it because Lulu always pitched this, this episode as a standalone film, and it's th shown through the lens of, well, Alice the can speak to workers. this, but the migrant workers. So it's a, yeah, it's a very different, um, yeah perspective than the rest of the series which hopefully pulls you in but um anyway <laughs> yeah, so it, was, 
it was a deliberate, it was always a deliberate plan from the start to have this series that, you know, you, you go in through the eyes of the expats, but imagine what it could be like if you switched POV and these characters that you get used to in the background of, of the other episodes are suddenly at the front and you get to go into their world and their homes and, and experience what it's like to be them. So I think for all of us, Team Expats, it's, it's just a very, very special episode for us. And it was always, take, you know, shot and, and written and uh, extraordinary care taken with this episode so we're super proud to uh, show it to you guys tonight and then but the series itself you'll see the trailer which is through the perspective of um the three other characters me being one of them but i consider myself part of an ensemble in this and you'll really see that so um they're wonderful the performances mm. of these of these women so enjoy <laughs> Just before we let it roll, Nicole, it was only two years ago you were here with another Prime Video production. It was Being the Ricardos. You're going to say 20 years ago here with <laughs> To Die For. To Die For. Here at the Palace. Actually, that's true. Did you know that Nicole's production, To Die For, she was here for the opening of the Palace Verona? And we opened it here. Opened the cinema and it opened here. Yeah. And now it's closing in a couple of weeks. And um, so we're bookending. So it's a special moment. To so be we here, love so. the Verona, but yeah. we say goodbye. I think they're, they're changing to a different location, right? Yeah, I think so. Where? Um, not not Oxford Street, not 17 <laughs> Oxford Sorry, Street. Sorry, <laughs> I think it's more park. I think it's more maybe park. more park. But anyway, yeah. I've seen so many films here, so many beautiful films, and yeah. part of it was inspiring me to become an actress. Um, where I would come and watch a lot of um, subtitled films Ooh. here at Verona. <laughs> <laughs> they, they sometimes have rude bits in them, Nicole. Is that the kind of one? <laughs> I didn't say X-rated. I said no, but subtitled. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, without any further ado, uh, I ask you to put your hands together for our special guests, Alex Bell and Nicole Kidman. And please enjoy episode five of Expats. 